Hello, my name is Dr. Yogan Patel and I'm a board certified emergency physician and I'll provide some simple instructions regarding your aftercare. We hope that this instructional video proves to be useful. Please remember that this video does not replace the information provided by your individual physician in the emergency department, but it's meant to supplement those instructions. If there are any questions or concerns, please contact the facility that treated you or your private physician. We are pleased that you gave us the opportunity to evaluate your shortness of breath. Shortness of breath is an extremely common condition and can often have a number of possible causes. These instructions are for home cellulitis and abscess of the trunk aftercare. Cellulitis is a superficial infection of the skin, while an abscess is a localized collection of pus underneath the skin. Most causes of cellulitis and abscesses are bacterial, the most common of which is methicillin-resistant Staph aureus, or MRSA. Cellulitis of the trunk is often treated with antibiotics to prevent worsening of the condition, which can often lead to an abscess or severe blood infection if left untreated. An abscess is treated by incision and drainage, which involves lancing the collection of the pus, cleaning with sterile saline, and packing with gauze to allow the pus to drain. Antibiotics may also be used to treat an abscess. The trunk includes the chest, abdomen, pelvis, and back. Since many vital organs are housed in this area, a superficial infection may extend deeper than it seems. Close follow-up within 24 hours is usually recommended for a wound check. If you were seen in discharged home, this most likely means your cellulitis or abscess was not severe enough to be treated in the hospital. Be sure to take all of the prescribed antibiotics as scheduled and do not skip doses. Even if you begin to feel better, take all of the antibiotics to ensure that the infection clears up completely. Return to the hospital or your private physician immediately if you have persistent fever, progression of the cellulitis, chest pain, back pain, abdominal pain, altered mental status, or if you begin to feel worse. Any of these things may be an indication that your infection is getting worse. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We hope that you find it helpful. Again, follow your treating emergency physician's instructions as your situation may be unique.